Socks, the physical manifestation of hugs for your feet. Most people associate them with wearing shoes, but if you're stuck at home right now, like most of the world, there's no one to judge you for wearing them by themselves around the house. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we'll be looking at a variety of socks I recently picked up as an initial attempt to redo different aspects of my wardrobe. I decided to start with my socks because socks are relatively more affordable than other pieces in one's wardrobe. And what better place to get high quality essential pieces at an affordable price than Uniqlo? Uniqlo's essential pieces are timeless and easy to wear. I've been eyeing the socks in this video for a few months now, and they were still widely available on the Uniqlo Philippines website this April, so I don't think you have to worry about the essentials being phased out or running out of stock. With that said, let's jump right in. All the products in this video are on your screen right now, with their product and color names. You can come back to this and pause the video if you find something you like and want to look it up on the Uniqlo online store. Let's start with the basic products first. I bought two pairs of black low cut socks. I already have low cut socks and no show socks in my wardrobe but they're cheap, costing less than half the price of the Uniqlo ones. And in practice, you feel the price. They lose elasticity and substance over several washes, causing them to slip off your foot while still inside your shoe. The Uniqlo socks feel way thicker and of better quality, and as a bonus, they have adhesive strips on the heel portion to help prevent them from slipping off your foot. We'll see if they hold up better over time compared to the cheaper socks, but my first impressions are positive. Low cut and no show socks are great for wearing shoes with shorts, especially in the spring and summer months. They keep your feet comfortable and they maximize airflow around your legs without really taking any attention away from the rest of your outfit. Next up are the white half cut socks. I also bought two pairs of these. There are full crew length socks available in the store but for the purposes I had in mind for these particular socks I went with a half length cut. I was going for the athleisure look with these socks to maybe pair them with old school sneakers like your New Balances, your Sauconies, and maybe even modern performance sneakers like an Adidas Ultra Boost or uh, the ones I have right here, the Nike Infinity Run React. They also feel substantial and cushioned enough to be used for purely athletic purposes like basketball. Anyway, I chose the half length cut because most of these looks would entail wearing them with shorts and personally, socks don't look too good on me when they sit far up my calves. I'm 5'8", which is an average height at best, and my legs aren't long, slender, or impressively athletic by any means. I'm just working around the proportions of my own body and seeing what works. If you're a 6'4", freak athlete with the calves of Usain Bolt, then maybe the full length versions suit you better. Either way, the athletic white sock is a great alternative to the low cut sock or the no show sock if you're looking for a more laid back look with shorts and sneakers. Lastly, I got three pairs of the colorful 50 socks. These are slightly more affordable than the two previous socks. They also come in an avalanche of different colors, so there's surely something for everyone. Judging by the price and how they feel in hand, these socks probably aren't suited for athletic performance. The variety of colors allow a whole range of choices to pair with more dressed up outfits, which was what I had in mind with these. I didn't mind them being full crew length because they'll most likely be under my pants anyway, only showing at the ankle area. As you can see, I got a spectrum of colors from off-white to a khaki and a dark red one. We won't dive into the details of which outfits these individual colors would best match with, mainly because I'll have to learn that along the way too, but I chose to get them these colors to be more flexible across different looks without being too loud. And there you have it, three different types of essential socks that are easy to wear and are readily available. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe got something, anything really out of it. 
this is usu usually the part where I would ask you to like and subscribe but my channel really has nothing in it except for this one travel video I made way back. Anyway, if you picked anything up from the video or if you yourself bought something from Uniqlo, give the video a like and share your experience in the comments. For now, I hope everyone stays safe and healthy. Please don't leave the house if you don't really have anything to do outside. You can always wear your socks indoors anyway. Thanks for watching.